Okay, I've got 5 o'clock, March 28th, 2024, special call meeting, called to order. Uh, I'll have Brother Coleman for a word of prayer, please. Most power, yes. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for this night. We thank you for this business meeting in the City Hall, for the City of Hartford. We ask you to bless our city, bless our people in this city, Lord. And Lord, let this business be um, fixed that it will be pleased in your sight. And Lord, we just do everything for you. Any of uh, our families are sick, we ask you to touch them and heal them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So basically, first, second. Okay, before you have the minutes of the last meeting, after reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes as read. I make a motion that we adopt the minutes. I have a first. Second. Second by Tony. All in favor say aye. 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 Those likes aye, motion carries. Okay. Tara was supposed to be here. She said she was going to be here. Um, we do have some updates that we're working on, some abandoned properties. Um, she's been working with that. She's got all the paperwork. So hopefully she'll be here in a little bit to tell us about that. Um, before you have the financial reports, bank statements, income, after reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept. Mayor, I make a motion to accept the business meeting or the uh, financial report. I have a first by Tony. Second. Sir. All right. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll uh, take stations if you Or, I mean, uh, Mary Bells. All right, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like so, motion carries. Thank you. Um, we have a second reading ordinance 2024-01. This is the Atmos franchise 20-year agreement. Um, basically, y'all read that and was informed on that. So with that being said, this will be a roll call vote. Um, so I'll go down. Down the line. Jeff? Yes. David Coleman? Yes. Jerry Likens? Yes. Mary Bell? Yes. Tony Renfro? Yeah. Sorry. Stacia? Yes. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. you Lisa's you got me you? off my rocker here did for a little go, bit. Lisa, go? hurry up. <laughs> I don't even think you're touching the floor. I don't have to vote. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Um, she's working on the uh, financial audit, so I'll let her. we're going to skip that for a little bit. Chief York, do you care to come up? Here she comes. <laughs> Miss America. Care to... Relate what you want to implement here. Uh, here lately, I've been working on a grant uh, through it. grad uh, to obtain body worn cameras. First. Uh, prior to, before we go any further, I'm going to have to get a policy for these cameras approved. So, uh, me and Lisa have been working diligently on trying to get these policies right now, along with the other policies in our policy procedure manual. Uh, so, basically, these are an updated. Uh, policy through uh, KLC. These are the model policies associated with body worn cameras. Uh, we have, we have uh, added and also with <coughs> this. Uh, and also, I created a custody and control for the body worn cameras. That right there would include the maintenance, the testing, uh, when or when not to uh, utilize these cameras. So Pretty much any encounter with the city, with any civilians within the city, we must activate these cameras. So uh, any deviation from that would be a disciplinary action. 
and also we I have another policy on the drug incinerator. We just received our incinerator uh, a couple of weeks ago, and of course I wanted to get uh, get a head start on the policy because we are going to be able to utilize this multi agency. So this would actually uh, include the other agencies involved, and also it's a, uh, it comes along with a signage sheet exactly. So it time stamps exactly what's being destroyed in this incinerator uh, and who is actually there to witness it. So. Does everybody have a copy of the policy? Um, Roger, you, do you care to read that policy off, just the top part portion there? On the body one camera? Uh, let's see, the first one on our list was the, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the body warrant. I'm sorry. Okay. The uh, policy of the Harvard Police Department is to provide officers with body worn video recording devices in the effort to collect evidence to be used in the prosecution of those who violate the law for officer evaluation and training and to provide accurate documentation of law enforcement and citizen interaction. The use of the body worn uh, video system provides persuasive documentary evidence that helps defend against civil litigation, allegations of officer misconduct. Officers assigned to the use of these devices shall adhere to the operational objectives and protocols outlined herein to, ma to maximize the effectiveness of the utility of the body-worn uh, camera and the integrity of evidence related to the documentation. All right. Thank you. Are these going to be similar to the ones they're going to yeah. order? be the exact same. That's uh, good. So basically with these, as soon as we get them, uh, there would be a, all of the data would be downloaded to a cloud. So the storage system, we wouldn't actually have to have any kind of hard storage. Uh, and that'd be reviewed uh, every month for each officer. Good deal. Does each one of these have to have their different, um, do, yeah, do they have to? Or? Okay. All right. Um, so I guess go. No, that was just the first reading on that one. So go on down to the body worn camera custody and control policy. Okay. And just. So the purpose of this policy is to establish guidelines for custody and control of body worn cameras used by officers of the Hartford Police Department. This policy ensures that body worn cameras are properly maintained and recorded footage is securely stored and maintained in accordance with legal requirements. So the policy applies to HPD officers who are issued the body worn cameras for use in the performance of their duties. All right. Thank you. And the last one is um, resolution 2024. Huh? There's video, yeah. camera, and incinerator. Sorry. <laughs> she added to my list. <laughs> okay, the incinerator policy as well. Yeah, but the purpose of this policy is to establish guidelines and procedures for the Hartford Police Department's use of the portable incinerator for the destruction of evidence upon the directives of the courts. This policy aims to ensure the proper handling and disposal of evidence in compliance with legal environmental regulations. And last, huh? Need three motions. So I need three motions on them. I thought that was just the first reading on the policy. No policies don't have to have their own words. Sorry. Okay. All right. So if you want to do the camera. Okay. So the first one, I'll need a motion to accept this policy for the body worn video recording. I make a motion to accept the policy of the body worn video recording. A second. I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Holds like so. Motion carries. The second one will be the uh, body worn camera custody and control policy. I make a motion that we accept the body worn camera custody and control policy. A second. I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Holds like so. Motion carries. Um, and then the. Uh, Police policy incinerator use of it for evidence. I'll need a motion for that policy as well. He's going to beat y'all down here on this end now. <laughs> All right. 
have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Coastal Lakes, I know she carries. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Chief, I got one question about the retention and disposal. The, I, it kind of says in here the appropriate length of time. What What is that? Is it a... Is there a, It'll be the state and federal guidelines of uh, records retention, so we would fall back on that. Usually uh, within 30 days, of uh, each within each basically each officer would. I would review each officer's interaction, at least one interaction. I've already done that. Uh, and after that, it goes back to the cloud, and we can so refer to. We'll it. go back right up here. I think it's an indefinite amount of time that they, they okay. are stored in the cloud. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank All right, thank you, Chief. All right, now we're going to go back to financial audit with uh, Dan Drain. Thank you, Chief. Good afternoon, Drain and Company. This is Christy. Yes, can I speak with Dan, please? Hold on just a moment. This is Lisa from Hartford, and Hi, Lisa. I have you on speakerphone. We did right. we did not receive our financial audits, um, so we, what we would like to do is for you to go ahead and go through them, and once that they come in the mail, then I will get those to the council members. So you, so you never got them, even though they were at the post office. We did not get them. Sorry. Mm. Okay. So. Uh, uh, does, does the council have copies of anything? We have one that's floating through. Okay. All right. Well, we always start with this two two page statement. It's called the SES 114 report. And all it does is power communication with the council to, you know, to let you know that you've been audited and that um, what, what the high points are. Uh, there's some things in there, no disagreement. Thank you. 
I think they're all good, Dan. I appreciate you doing that. Okay, appreciate sure. your hard work. Thank you, and uh, I hope you're getting over tomorrow. And you know, if you want to call back or if you want to arrange another another phone call, I'll be glad to see that. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye -bye. So overall, I think that was pretty good. Um, it's always good to, have to get an A. So, uh, let's see. Now. I've got this resolution 2024-01. Or we already voted on that one, didn't we? Say the What's that? Body, cam. body cams. Have we already done that one? Yeah. No, you voted on body. Your his policy, not a resolution to do the prayer. Thank you. That's why you're sitting over here beside. Me. <laughs> All right. Do you care to? Explain that grant that you're going after. So basically, it's a law enforcement. Where is that? Levy grant, so protection grant. So we're working with Amy uh, Muffini, I think that's how you pronounce her name, with grad. She's currently, uh, I don't have a copy of that grant. Here you go. We'll just read that resolution. Okay. And basically, that's given the okay for, for the grant. About to be written on the resolution side of it. The resolution of the city of Hartford, Kentucky, authorizing the mayor to make application for this for uh, and upon arrival to enter agreement with the Kentucky Office of Homeland Security to execute any documents that are deemed necessary by KOHS to facilitate and administer the project and act as authorized correspondent for this project. Whereas the city of Hartford. Ohio County, Kentucky desires to make application to law enforcement protection program funds for, pro uh, for a project to be administered by the Kentucky Office of Homeland Security. Whereas it is recognized for the application of the approval of Kentucky Office of Homeland Security funds to impose certain obligations and responsibilities upon the city. Now, therefore, will be it resolved uh, the 28th day of March by the city of Hartford, uh, Ohio County, Kentucky. The mayor hereby authorized to execute to furnish all required documentation, including a memorandum of agreement and may as may be required by KOHS for the furtherance of the above reference project that act to act as an authorized correspondent for this project. Thank you. All right. So I will need a
I need a motion to accept this resolution. I have a, second. Have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Calls like so. Motion carries. Thank you. Chris, do you care to come up for a minute? Just basically give the rundown on the water meters. Okay. Our water meters, they've been in the ground since, I think we started putting the, the Hershey meters in in 2004. The Hershey meters have got where they're slowing down, they're not as accurate. People, we're not getting the revenue we're supposed to be getting out of them. We have purchased a few of them here in the last six months to a year, and we've been putting them in the ground as soon as we can get them. But uh, we are starting to see revenue gains. There's a lot of people getting minimum bill that for well over a year, and we're just now starting to see revenue from them. Uh, me and Lisa has talked a little bit, and I would like to see about purchasing some more meters to update them, because a lot of them past their life expectancy. Uh, the life expectancy on the meters we have are 15 years, so they're past, they're, they're getting right to here at it or past the, their life expectancy. Uh, we would like to ask for around 500 meters, and they're $140 a piece, so it would make it around $70,000. Right at 62.5 is what I got. And that's the yeah. one we got to do it. Oh, I'm sorry. You're fine. Well, there was a little bit of a price increase on the meters. Okay. So, how many of y'all put in so far? We, had, I think, I had me and them as a Friday. They probably put in almost 170 to almost 180. How many more would we like to go? Oh. Uh, well, the 500 would not completely change them all out, but we would still, that would get us three quarters of the way. We probably would still need another three or four hundred after that. Well, I'd like to make a motion that we go ahead and as soon as possible get them all replaced if we're losing money on them. Mm -hmm. yep. I'll second that. All right, with that motion, where do you all would like this to come out of? Do we have our funds? Yes. I will also say that just say on the new ARPA. meters that, we're, that we have, we're purchasing is a lot more accurate. There's no moving parts to them to slow down. So they, if they go out, they just go out. There's no chance of them slowing down or us losing What's revenue. the turnaround time to get those? Because I know they're, they're taking the a past, while. Some of them takes a while. This company is not as bad as the other ones okay. that we used to get, so I would say in a few months we should have them. Jerry, do you want your motion to reflect the purchase uh, through the ARPA funds? Yes. Okay. So, I got a first and second to purchase the water meters out of ARPA. And change mine first. Okay. <laughs> It'll be the first to call. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you do mine last. <laughs> Please do the church. <laughs> all right, all in favor say aye. Aye. Holds like sign, motion carries. Thank you, Chris. Hey, Chris, what are we doing with the old meters that were taken out? Are they recyclable? Can we do anything uh, with those? Or? What we do with them, we break them down, and if we get a certain amount of them, whether it's worth anything, we take them and take them to the scrap store. Okay. So we are getting Yeah, we get something out of them. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We did the opening bid of the cemetery on 3824 for the three year contract. We only had two bids come in, one the first one being law and order, one thousand three hundred and fifty weekly, forty one thousand eight hundred and fifty yearly. The second one being Beaver Dam Emergency at fifty thousand two hundred and twenty two dollars. I'll need a motion to approve one of these bids. I make a motion that we approve law and order based on the bid price and their past work. I have a first. No, I'll second it. Second by Jerry Likens. 
All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. So. Motion carries. Thank you. They still going to get the bank or the ball. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Is that Jordan? Yep. Jordan's? Okay. I didn't know. Yep. Okay. Um, I'll go first on discussion. Or does anybody in public have anything? Okay. Um, so, Tara, I've got a road that I'd like to see about maybe where we're at on the city. Got that one over Phillips Taylor? No, Victoria Drive. Yes, Lisa mentioned to me in passing this week about whether or not. And then, um, dedicated, 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 dedicated,
maybe when we set that up, you can kind of elaborate in that meeting as well, just to kind of. And, and I will say that, that that's something that came up not too terribly long ago. Lisa, when did we last update? That was 21 or 18? 18. Uh, we did kind of, at that particular stage, consider being, making things a little bit more stringent and, and tougher on people who aren't maintaining properties. Uh, I think that the consensus of the council at that time was given some of the economic hardships that a lot of people were facing, it, it was going to be more difficult. But, uh, well, and I, I don't know if Beaver Dam has passed the uh, ordinance yet. He might elaborate on that. Have they, on the landowners for renters, have they passed that ordinance on, on enforce, code enforcement? They discussed that and I think passed it last year. Okay. On the code enforcement or, or the water accounts? See, I can't remember. I know the water passed. That was I know that. brought up several years ago and it did not go over well. Well, a bunch of landowners showed up for torches and pitchforks and then realized, oh, the city's doing this for us. And it actually kind of helps us. And so then everyone put the torches out and went home. Uh, so it was, it was kind of weird, but I think they also, they might have figured out there's something that they were wanting to do that they couldn't for some reason. Well, I it, think... It runs together. I think if we could just maybe change the ordinance to stiffen it up a little bit, that would be the approach to take first and maybe... I would suggest that if any council members or you may have certain things in there that you'd like to see, if you could maybe submit that as a list and when we go over that with the board when they submit their final okay. comments on it, that'd be something that, you know, it'd be, it'd be more efficient yep. use of their time, I think, since right. it's hard to get them all yep. together. I agree. All right. All right. Thank you, Tara. Uh, Jeff, do you have anything? Uh, just a question about the uh, the grant. Uh, can we like set up a like a priority list of what we want to do first, or what? Um, I don't know when that. It could be another year before we could see that money. That's that's the downfall to it. Um, we can discuss that. Um, I don't, do you refresh me on that? What was all on that grant? Uh, so we we did a, a lighting upgrade, right? We fencing, did fencing, fencing upgrade, fencing upgrade, uh, black topping, the Hard resurfacing, the new oil resurfacing, oh, the basketball. The basketball. Okay. Uh, and then there was some some work to be done to like the infields and stuff like that, but. That's way outside of, I would say, top three priorities on, on getting anything done and get it playable. I will I will email uh, BLG and see when the possibilities of those funds would be available. Um, of course, we'd probably have to get with a couple contractors to help us out on the uh, holes, and we'll have to have quotes on that as well. So. Um, once I, know, I, I think uh, who was it that submitted the lighting? We use them all. Tail, uh, Taylor, Taylor's. Yeah, Taylor. Uh, just using the the same pose we have, just re, re, like changing the lights out to, mm -hmm. to LEDs. The LEDs. Uh, I think that's what we asked their their okay. request to be their their bid to be. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll email DLG on that and see when we can look forward to those finances becoming available. I've always I've always jokingly said that the governor probably has a stack of papers on his desk and when he gets a chance to look at it, he'll go through them when he can. <laughs> That's all I have. All right, thank you. And now, Mr. Coleman? I just have one complaint. <laughs> We're going to have to get these dogs on the streets. <laughs> I'm serious. I second Rockwell that. got a hope to a little woman this morning on the union. I happened to stop <laughs> yeah, and, and just running loose. I mean, not just in a Smith, uh, Smith Street. Uh, Taylor showed his husband was running, <laughs> and them little dogs bit at his ankles a couple weeks ago. I've been in communication and I've got a couple of clients that came into the office 
Right. Hopefully, uh, we can all prepare. I have to go down there and put them in a headlock and put them on my car. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess my question on that, Tara, is there's a policy in effect on animals that's dated back, I think, 1983. And animals can't hunt for it. Right. But, I mean, is there anything or... Can we, do we just follow suit with the county's policy on... So it's it's one of those areas where we have an ordinance that is actionable, that we can cite somebody on and take it, you know, bring them up on the violation to the district court. The county has a countywide ordinance that is um, more developed and thorough, which governs more about animal, proper animal management um, and pet management that doesn't necessarily uh, supplant our ordinance, but it is a bit more engaging. And they have uh, they appropriated and actually set aside funds for an animal control officer to enforce that. Um, Chief York, would you like to have an animal control officer? <laughs> that would be about the only way that, that Harvard could enforce it separately from what they're currently doing. Now, and, she, and I, I personally contacted her several times. She, she does a fantastic job. With what she's getting, she's got a very large. And she's got a large county to deal yes. with. Uh, um, but uh, it does get, and she and she cares for those animals, and she does try very, very, dip, uh, right. try very hard to get along with them. But if we have specific complaints that we can bring up with her, when she takes that to the county, we can add in any Harper charges in violation of our own ordinances. But it's really kind of one of those things where we have it on the books. Yeah. And enforcement of it comes down to the personnel that you have. Um, I could look into it. There may be a way that animal control kind of falls under code enforcement, so that it, that it would take away the criminal aspect of it. Not it would only be under our code enforcement, it would just be assessed fine. But forfeiture of animal that's getting into a really gray murky area, and also it possibly could I think honestly we're better off working hand in hand with animal control and when you receive a complaint that way she can it's almost without without saying doubling up but I mean that's essentially what you're doing you can hear a violation of the county but you're also mm -hmm. specifically a violation of the city. Okay. I, I know it's all the other counties because I'm from Warren County too me and George is <laughs> don't hold us against them but the county, the sheriff's department how the dogs up there. Yeah, so. it's, it's just one of those things where not every little municipality right. can afford their own animal right. control officer. Right. So that's why it's kind of always... Yeah, that's our what, rule, but how do we enforce it without the assistance of the county officer? Yeah. That's what dogs run around just licking. It's a very unique position in itself. Yes. Right. It's, um, it was discussed at the last session. So, I mean, it's, it's very... There is, we could, again, though, this runs into enforcement. I mean, there there is the concept of passing orders where we require any pets in South City looks to be licensed. Uh, then you can have an animal license. Of course, then you got enforcement of that. The same thing, you know, we pass these laws about golf cart oh, permits and stuff, and if it's not being enforced, right. it, it's just yeah. a waste of communication. So it's, you know, and not, nothing against our police, but they're very limited people for, for how much we've got going on and what they have to try to And a deadline on the uh, abandoned properties needs to be made, mailed out May 15th? May 15th is the deadline, and, and usually we just have basically get that listed and send out those notices. So I guess we need to, if anybody knows of any, let's see if we can prioritize a list for abandoned properties. I think most of them, honestly, are already on there. Probably not so, very good in the so we're going to see if we can... What we can do there. Stacia, do you have anything? Well, I second the dog issue. <laughs> um, <laughs> a, mer a local merchant has brought to my attention the food truck issue again and the ordinance possibly changing. And, um, you know, whatever is chosen to do with that, um, I would not like to be a part of that committee. 
But we already decided that the last time we went through all this, we weren't going to. There was no resolution, and now it's being brought back up. So there's still no regulation. That's the way it is. Well, and when I was contacted, I, you know, I said, you know, we all came to the table. There was no resolution. Really, it was a fuss and match is what it was. And then we just, I think at the time, agreed to just disband it. Um, and when I was talking to the merchant, I said, you know, it, the policy at the time was wanting to be rushed through, when in hindsight, we really needed to review it more, because there was nothing in there at that time that you couldn't park right in front of somebody if you wanted to. So my, I wanted conditions that were going to protect the merchant as well as protect all Hartford citizens by freedom of choice. So it... There was nothing resolved. Yes, we redid the ordinance. Um, it was not voted on. Not all parties were happy. There was no resolution, so we just left it. So if it's brought back up, I'm just going on record that I do not want to be a part of it. Okay, thank you. Um, I guess what we could do to... I ain't dealing with them. I guess what we could do to vis visit this, um, we still have that. Policy, I guess, that was written up the yeah, past one. I say we can put that on the agenda and um, we can review that again. And there was a lot of reviews on this, so if y'all have any questions before the next meeting, let's get with Tara and see what we can do to clean the language up to benefit the citizens as well as as the business owners here in Hartford. So if we're all in agreement, I say we'll put that on the agenda for the next meeting. If it dies at the table, then it dies at the table. And maybe we can regroup from something else. Thank you. Could you check with other counties and see what they're doing? I have contacted a few, and I think JP uh, reached out to a few with the different ones, too. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of like a... Yeah. Yeah. Your biggest issue isn't so much of taking away choice for people. I think a lot of it was that these local people are coming in and out for them just to pay a one time fee. They are, they, they have a lot less skin in the game than some of the border people. And so it's, uh, I think it's not so much of saying, hey, you don't want food trucks. It's just as you come in to most places, like I think of Bowling Green or something. You have so many opportunities at this price to set up inside the city limits, and then if you want to do more than this, it's like a tier system. I think is kind of how they set up. So we'll look into that, and, and um, we'll get everybody a copy of the old one. And then, if there's any language that you would like to try to clean up before the next meeting, I'd ask that y'all reach out to Tara as well on that and see what we can come to an agreement on if that's the case that the council so moves to do. Yes, I think, as it's written at this point, there's not even anything about distance from... No, there is. And that, that's one thing I wanted in there. And, and those are all things that I think are very valid concerns. I think it was just a it was a hot issue that people were not necessarily having the full time, like you said, looking at yeah, it. In a it, it was just more of... And, and, you know, emotions were heightened, but it was more of a fussing than, okay, I understand what you're trying to say. I understand what you're trying to say. What can we come together and resolve? And there was none of that. So um, I think if it's revisited with, you know, just all the players reasonably discussing solution, and that's, I mean, one merchant said they had their druthers. They would not have any food trucks allowed ever. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's not real effective either. Yeah, yeah. It's not a reasonable <laughs> so, resolution. Right. So that that's how the conversation went. I think me and Be Maribel were kind of done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nothing was the result. Okay. So. All right. Me and the mayor went up to the nursing home. Yeah. Talk yeah, we talked to them as well because that, I think that was a that was a hard hit area. Like, right, well, and it, how I got a phone call is that uh, there was a food truck invited right in front of the radio station, which you know is right down there downtown by our two lunch restaurants, um, and that you know. It, well, that's not parked in anybody's front door to serve food. 
They were, yeah. That's the problem right there. They don't want anybody within seeing distance. I, I'm going to say that, uh, and, and I'm, with, I'm with Mary Bill on that. I don't know that that was directly from the merchant or anything, but I will say that when they do food trucks down there, Mayor, uh, it's very, very hard to see if you're pulling out right, right there off of uh, Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would like to see them set back more because it, it's very difficult to see the traffic. I've almost pulled Well, out. at the same time, can we get people to mow down some of their bushes at our own corners, too? I mean, you know, the city, it's the same it's difference. The right away, then, that's, then the city can, can do that. All right. Thank you. Mr. Likens, do you have anything? I should, but I don't. <laughs> All right. Mary Bell, do you have I anything? I could say a lot, but it's best I not. All right. Amen on that. <laughs> You don't even know what you're talking about, Jeff. I, I hear you mumbling over there. All right, Tony, do you have anything? All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? I'll make a, a first. Second by Jerry, I think. All in favor say aye. Aye. Oh, like sign. Motion carries. Motion to... Oh.